Hello everyone and welcome. So I'll show you how to create a Discord bot using Python and the discord.py library. We'll also be using YouTube search uh, to implement a simple search command that will uh, search YouTube and return to us the first result for a given string in Discord. It will be very similar to the bot I made uh, with JavaScript in the previous tutorial, which you can obviously check out if you want to create a Discord bot using JavaScript. Uh, but I will show you the basics of creating bots setting up commands and then you can advance and expand the bot and the structure very easily. So starting off, obviously let's install this package. Uh, there's a small difference if your bot is going to be using um, voice commands, which you can read about here. Since we're not going to be doing that in this one, I'll just be doing the default pip install discord.py. Uh, let's go back to the table of contents and to the quick start. I'll copy this very simple example and then I'll explain a little bit and then we can start the bot with the sort of example code and then expand on it. So line by line, this imports the package. This initializes a new client as in a new bot. Uh, client event is a decorator. And then uh, the function we define below it is a an event function. There's a certain amount of them. One of them is on ready. There's on connect, on disconnect, etc., etc. On message, on ready is the one that gets fired whenever a user as in the user, as in the client, as in the bot we create gets connected, is, is online, this will get fired. Um, this event will get fired whenever a message is received in any text channel that the bot is in. And uh, here is where we will eventually put our logic for our command. Right now, there's only just uh, one check. So if the message received comes from the bot himself, it will ignore the message. And then if the message is hello, it will respond with hello. And this is where we will define our token. Instead of hard coding it here, uh, I'll create a new file named uh, discconf.py, which will be a discrete config file. And I'll create a token variable in here and a prefix variable. Um, the token will be the discord token uh, for the bot. And then the prefix will be the prefix for all commands or relate to this but usually people use like exclamation point or plus or something i'll use an explanation point but you can put anything in here uh whatever you like really um oh yeah i need to do this to make it nice and clean okay so now let's get the actual uh, discord a uh, token so in order to do that you go to the discord app.com website go to developers go to the developer portal section uh, you create a new application and you give it a name i'll name it jimmy 33 uh, bot. I don't know. Hopefully no one has taken that name. And this is our bot now. So to actually tell Discord, yeah, this is going to be a bot, my good sir. We go to bot and then we go add bot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a bot. And we get the token here. Uh, reveal it, copy it, whatever. Same thing. We put it in here. We got the token for the bot easy, right? So we got the config done. Now we need to import this config in here. So we we're going to say import. Now we're going to say from now you're gonna say import um, the token and the prefix, but we gotta say from disk conf. Yeah. So down here, we'll just instead of your token goes here, we'll just put token. Now, obviously, in bigger apps, you won't be creating a disk uh, config file like this. Uh, you might be using a package. You might use .env files and load the environment variables in that way. Uh, it's really all up to you and the way you prefer to structure your apps. Um, that's fine. So let's now start our application. In order to do that, we just say Python or Python 3 if you have Python 2 installed and then app.py. Uh, this will start our bot uh, and it will say we are now logged in as Jimmy bot, whatever, right? Which is good. This is what it's supposed to say. I'll reformat this string a little bit in a more uh, Python 3 friendly way and not use this format uh, thing I don't like. So this looks a bit cleaner. Anyway, our bot is online, but as you can see, it's not on this uh, pretend Discord server that I made. In order to get it in here, we need to go to OAuth 2, click on the bot thing here and you'll, you'll get this link. You open this link up. It will detect your Discord account from the Discord app being open or you being logged in into Discord, you know, 
Okay, so when this opens, you'll have add bot to and you have your like the servers you are the owner of that you can invite the bot to and you can select one of those. I'll select my VUCA YouTube test. I'll click authorize. It will ask me if I'm a robot. I am not. And it will say authorize. So now if we go here, we have the bot Jimmy 33 bot in here. So I can type that stuff in here. Nothing's going to happen. If I do type uh, dollar sign hello, he will respond with hello, which is exactly what we wanted. So that's good. 10 out of 10. This code works. The bot is working. It's up. It's good. Okay. So now we go on to the second part, which is going to be actually implementing some logic and expanding the structure outside of just this like shitty one command thing. So I don't really like this, this check here. Um, what I prefer to do is, I mean, it sort of makes sense to me is uh, make a check. So if the message, so inside of the message, you have this author, um, author, um, dictionary, which in itself includes a bot variable, which is a true or false. So this tells you if the author of the message is a bot. So if the author of the message is a bot, I like to return it as in ignore the message because obviously you don't want bots triggering other bots to do actions most of the time. So this is just like a good thing to have in there. Uh, this will also ignore like the bot will also ignore himself because he is a bot when he sends a message he, he knows that so the next thing I like to Also check is if the message that we are sending or like that the bot is receiving is also starting with the prefix We already defined before so to do that we say if message and then we have this content the content which includes the content of the message and then we can say starts with starts with and then in here you define what you want to check if the message starts with that so we'll say prefix right so if the message does not start with the prefix that we defined in our config file it will just ignore the message which is what you want to do because you don't want the bot to just process hello my good sir you want the bot to process like exclamation point hello and then something whatever exclamation point play music exclamation point search youtube whatever etc right makes sense uh moving on uh what we want to do next is actually separate the command and the arguments that the bot will receive from the message itself so uh you can do this in a lot of ways i'll just do it in like a very shorthand way because it's just easy to do so first we'll define the command so the command will e will be obviously inside of the message content right so to get the command, we go message content, and then we slice this, uh, and we just remove the first, the the character at the uh, at the index of zero in the string. Afterwards, we just will split the string by empty space because when you type a search command, you or like a command, you'll say command, and then you'll say blah 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 blah. So you wanna split this up by spaces, right? And then when we do this bit, this bit gets removed. When we do this, all these get separated into separate um, things. So we'll remove this. So this will just give us an array of strings. And then what we want to do is get the first one. So at the index of zero, and this is going to be the actual command. So yeah, and then uh, the arguments for this command will be the rest of them. Now you could put this bit in like a variable and then obviously assign them in a more effective way, but I'll just do it like this because it's easier and I get to write less code. Uh, this will do the same as this is just remove the first one, which will be the command. So we'll have the command and we'll have the arguments here. Uh, hopefully this is not too fast for you, but it's quite simple Python style. But anyway, so after this, you can make a switch statement. You can make a lot of if statements. You can call a function that checks stuff. You can do a lot of things, right? Uh, I'll just do a simple if. So if the command um is equal to in our case the search command which is the command we want to define in here uh, we want the bot to actually do uh some things right so we want to do some search so we want to define a what to uh search variable and that variable will be a string so we want to pass this to our uh, youtube search package and then that will be searched on youtube uh this string will just be uh like uh, basically all these arguments so we'll just join them together with an empty space so this is the join um, method 
you put what you want the join joining uh, string to be. So each of these, if let's say it's, uh, if we say in here, uh, search, hello, my good sir, this is going to search, this is going to take all these and then connect them with an empty space. Uh, so that we'll have what to search here defined. Uh, what we want to do next is actually install this YouTube uh, search package, uh, which we have right here. So let me copy this bit. Pip install YouTube search. We want to also import YouTube search uh, up here. I'll put like a comment saying config because this is the config variables or whatever. So we have YouTube search. What is the problem here? Oh, it's never uh, used. That's fine. So we have YouTube search and I'll copy this example because it's a, it's a good example. So uh, results will now contain a list of <clears throat> a list of uh, dictionaries, which will be videos with their titles and links uh, that we can use um, instead of to JSON, I'll say to dict. That's another method for this package. I checked the source code a bit. It's it just this gives you a list of dictionaries instead of to JSON, which gives you a uh, JSON, which gives you JSON, which we don't really need to use in a uh, Python application, or no, or at least not in our Python application. So this is where you put the string that you want to be searched, and then afterwards you want to pass an argument, which will be max results. This is how many videos you want there to be here. I'll put. Um, like five doesn't really matter. We're just going to use one, but you know, you can put whatever, however many you're actually going to be using in your app. Okay. Next thing is uh, in this results variable, we will have a list of dictionaries containing um, different videos. Uh, what we want to define is the link. So because the link in this case uh, will be, I can just show you that real quick if you like, uh, if we go to in here. So the link will actually just contain the pa -pa 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 slash watch and then the video ID. We can't be really using that as a link in Discord because it's not really a link. It's just like a string that sort of is half of a link. So I'll define a new link in here. It's gonna be F string, it's gonna be HTTPS. Uh, slash slash www.youtube.com and then in here well put is results and then zero and then I'll take the link uh, parameter from there so uh, this is too close and then instead of single quotes you put double quotes because we're already using single quotes and there we go so this will actually have the proper link to our YouTube video that we want to display to the user. Hopefully that sort of makes sense. I'll also print in here the results. Um, results, results, just so you can see what they actually are uh, later on. So the next thing we want to do is actually uh, create a dictionary, which will be the first result. So first result will be a dictionary. It will have a title. Now the title is also located in results zero and then just instead of link, it's going to be inside of title and then we will also get a link and then the link will just be the link we defined up here. And then what we want to do next is actually respond to the user with a message saying we found what you look you were looking for, right? So this is the, the part of the code that you want to await. So we say await. Um, message dot send a message that channel. So we want to get the channel where the message was like where this message was sent. And then, uh, and then to that channel, we want to send a message of our own. Now this message will then be a string, a, an F string, uh, we found, okay, no, let's, let's write like a sensible thing. Uh, just the link. Uh, the reason I put it in a in a variable like in like a like a first result sort of dictionary is in, in like if you're actually gonna be doing this, you won't be searching for stuff. You might be searching for like a video, and then you'll have like a player, and you'll will join a channel, and then just play the video that you that the person searched for. But we're not really doing that, so 
we're gonna do it like this uh this is fine okay so now we can just do the same python app.py and everything should be working perfectly right so we go in here we then type search uh let's search um hello my friends right the f first youtube search result for hello my friends is hello darkness my old friend uh 2017 and it can be found that this url right and then in here you can actually see what the results um the, what the youtube search package what the, that returns in the results it's a, a list of dictionaries with the title the link which is like sort of half a link and then the id and then you have to construct your own actual link but yeah so this this fully does work and if you type something random it will search for whatever this is and then you can also just type search um, like it works even with spaces that's why we concatenate the string and join it together anyway this is this is pretty much it um i might tidy up the code a little bit but um that's pretty much it you can then expand onto this you can add else if below this for more commands you can make this like you could add uh down here else like else if well, or alif actually i mean you can keep going you can make it a switch statement you can do a lot of stuff you can optimize this code this is just a very simple basic example to show you how to do some very basic things and, and basic setup and then it's very easy to expand this with more commands or make it more modular if you wish to do so hope you learned something new and hopefully you can create your own uh discord bots now and uh use them and abuse them thank you for watching and goodbye